Queen returning to the city that was the name of the dukedom that King George VI gave her husband when she married him in 1947. And he was Duke of Edinburgh and she was very proud to be his Duchess of Edinburgh. From Queen's Ferry Road to Queen's Ferry Street and there dead ahead castle and fortress of Edinburgh Castle and the old town of that great city, the Athens of the North and the stronghold in that fortress of the symbols of the Scottish nation. The Queen's procession will come down to Prince's Street and turn onto Lothian Road. fortress where earlier today Lord Lyon, King of Arms, gave the second of two proclamations here in Edinburgh that Elizabeth II is dead and King Charles III is the new king. And there at the top of the Royal Mile we wait for the Queen's procession to come up and turn towards us. She first of all will skirt around the base of the fortress and come up Johnson Terrace. And only a few weeks ago, this area was a throng with the glories of celebration that is the Edinburgh Festival each year where a profound quantity of youth, creativity and art and culture come into this royal dukedom the name of which she carried, and bring it to life. And just up the castle hill to the right of the church there, which is now known as the hub, just up to the right there, the castle esplanade where the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo takes place each year. All that seems a long way away, but the crowds fill now this most ancient of royal processional routes. There is no processional route older than the Royal Mile in Edinburgh. And the great tradition in Scotland was not a procession, but a riding. And the lover of equestrian things and horses that the Queen was would probably have seen some delight in her final journey down from the Highlands, ending up passing along where the great ridings of Scottish tradition, right back to when Mary, Queen of Scots, moved through this ancient city being shouted at by John Knox. Always there is controversy in a vibrant city and that is also true today. 